Club Penguin is a game that's definitely been around the block. It released in 2005 and it's one of those MMO games that's just deeply rooted into internet's history because at one point it had over 100 million registered users so people had a lot of nostalgia for a game where you just basically roleplay as a penguin and play mini games and just socialize. So when the game announced that it was shutting down you can imagine the devastation that people felt when their favorite place to hang out and have intense penguin roleplaying just became another victim to global warming. So because people want to preserve the memory and the nostalgia for Club Penguin after it got shut down by Disney. Well, a lot of private servers start popping up literally everywhere. Like you had Club Penguin rewritten, you had Club Penguin Legacy, New Club Penguin. It's just to name a few of the many that just popped up and a lot of them got, actually got really popular. Club Penguin rewritten at one point had over 10 million registered users. So there was definitely a demand for the game. The people wanted to play the game even after it shut down. But then Club Penguin rewritten got shut down because Disney sent the London police to seize the website and arrest the developers on copyright and fringe bit. So despite the fact that people actually wanted to play the game, Disney didn't really see it as a profitable adventure and that's why they shut it down in the first place. So I never really understood the hype of playing Club Penguin because I never got the chance to get into it growing up. But now as a grown ass adult, I got the chance to play New Club Penguin, which is a private server that was being hosted. And well, it's completely free to play. There's no membership fees, there's no paywall, there's nothing really because of course it is a private server. So as a first time Club Penguin enjoyer, I wasn't really expecting much. It's almost 20 years old and it's a, it's a kid's game. It's very basic because because it was browser based at the time and well surprisingly it was it was pretty fun so you log into Club Penguin and you basically spawn in a random part of the map and there's not really that many new age MMORPG adventure type things that you see in the game. There is a sort of like secret agent minigame section which I totally ignored because I didn't feel like playing that but the game is very minigame focused. It's a socializing slash role playing slash minigame sort of game. You meet new people, you, you interact with people, you play minigames together or, or solo. Some of my favorite minigames were the pizza making ones, uh, the smoothie making ones, the, the one about the jetpack, you know, there's a lot of like different variety, which I think people really liked at the time. You didn't need an overarching complicated story. You just, you really just needed a place to hang out after school and either hang out with your friends or just hang out and meet new people, you know, and hopefully not run into too many predators or groomers, <laughs> hopefully. But the basic objective of the game is to just collect coins by playing the mini games and just either get pets, which are called puffles, or you just start dripping yourself out. You spend those coins on looking really nice and just customizing your avatar to make it look like however you want to make it. You remember that you're playing as a penguin, you want to personify the character. So you got to like dress the character up the way you would identify yourself if you were an online penguin. One of the really interesting and cool things about it is that you have your igloo, which, you know, we talked about it in Wizard 101 and you talked about it in Pirate 101. That's really popular in like these cozy MMOS kind of games where you actually have your own home base and you can decorate it you can make it really your own and you can even have like fashion shows you can have like a lot of like these community-led events so the game is very reliant on community interaction so a lot of the fun in Club Penguin to begin with is not really just logging in and playing the game it's about interacting with people you know just sitting down and talking and having fun online and you know you do with the game whatever you feel like you're doing with the game if you want to just try hard and just hang out at the mines and just endlessly collect coins so that way you can buy literally everything. If you want to have political discussions with people, I think I've seen those too. And if, well, you want to form a group and have like questionable intentions with a group, I, I guess you can do that too, you know? But the game is very family friendly, despite the fact that the average age group must be people who are like over 20 years old. They still have those family friendly safety mechanisms where you can't even say WTF in the game without getting a warning of getting banned, which when, when it happened to me, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoops, my bad. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse. My bad, I didn't know that was a curse word. It was really interesting to play the game on stream as a first time player because you have people in my chat telling me, you know, all their favorite experiences with the game and all that nostalgia that they were reliving. And then for me, it was just like, this is totally new for me, dude. I'm living your nostalgia for the first time. It's kind of like this weird warped sensation of it's sort of nostalgic for me because I'm enjoying the game, which I know is old, but I never really got the chance. I have no memory of nostalgic value. I, I live it through you guys. So it's a really weird feeling, but at the same time is also nice to see that, you know, I can just be playing these games for the first time and I'll be like, wow, this is cool. You know, I never got the chance to play this, but for the people that are watching and they're just like, ah, oh, that's awesome. I remember when I used to do that too. For a game that really doesn't offer much 
in terms of entertainment value. It does offer a lot in terms of like nostalgic value and, and it's still a really good game for you to just sit down and reunite with your friends and maybe just hang out, chat and play a couple of mini games and just enjoy the game for what it is. So I'm actually happy that the game still has private servers keeping it alive. It's really a shame that Disney decided to kill it instead of just like releasing it to the public and giving it to people because, you know, well, I understand, you know, if a game's not profitable, why keep it up in the first place? But, you know, the fact that Disney is just sometimes just so sporadic and aggressive with copyright takedowns, it kind of just keeps you on edge because you never know when's the day you're going to wake up and then suddenly your favorite browser game where you've actually grinded and played and collected a lot of coins and met some people that you might not even have interactions with outside the game might one day just shut down and be gone forever again. That kind of sucks, but at the same time, it makes me want to enjoy the game right now and makes me want to like appreciate it before something bad happens to it, if something bad were to happen to it, if the games were to just shut down tomorrow. So yeah, if you haven't played Club Penguin at all, or if you want to relive the nostalgia, New Club Penguin is a game that's out there right now. It's completely free to play, like I mentioned. There's no membership fees or anything. And I, just, I encourage you guys to just go check it, check it out. Just sit down, play the game, relive the nostalgia or experience it all for the first time. That's all I really want to talk about with you guys today so yeah enjoy it and i'll catch you guys in the next one